Hi, my name is Staff Sergeant Andrew Doherty, and I'm a tuba player with the United States Army Band Pershing Zone here in Washington, D.C. Today, I'll be covering your Allstate Etudes, both the Con Brio Technical Etude and the Espressivo Lyrical Etude, and I'll be discussing some practice tips and how I prepare this so that you're ready for your Allstate audition. <laughs> Okay, now that we've gone through the A2, let's go ahead and discuss some of the things that I would practice in order to make this sound as good as possible, and some of the trickier things too. So right off the bat, um, in the first measure, we have forte, but also staccato. And these are quick notes, eighth notes and sixteenth notes, right? So it's imperative that we make them sound as clear and as clean as possible. So how do we do that? First, I like to think of the articulation as a duh syllable, D-U-H, or even a T-D-U-H, duh, right? That's the syllable that I use in my head in order to get uh, my tongue and my teeth in the right placement so that you have really crisp articulation, even though this is at a relatively loud dynamic. So just the first three notes, right? Those need to sound really crisp, just like a flute player, just like a clarinet player, um, and just like a tuba player. So again, I'm using this duh syllable, and I'm starting the note not with my tongue, but I'm starting the note with my air. So I'm going, right? Having really uh, consistent, strong air will help the articulation here. So again, thinking of a duh syllable and thinking of starting the note with my air. And I'm, I'm gonna count myself in. One, two, three. Right, it still needs to be really crisp. Uh, and that goes for the entire etude. We have this pattern everywhere, this eighth, sixteenth, sixteenth, followed by another eighth or a quarter pattern. That needs to be really clear. Let's look at measure nine now. This is the same thing, except it's piano, right? And generally, it's a little bit more difficult to articulate really clearly in softer dynamics, so we have to try a little bit more. Um, but again, it's not with muscle, it's not with um, tongue really, it's with the air. So I'm using soft air, um, but a very decisive tongue, okay? So here's just measure nine. Let's just take the first two beats. Right? I would practice that slow and repetitive, um, or repeatedly, in order to get that sounding exactly how I want it. Let's say I may even um, just play on one note, but just get the, the rhythm and the articulation right. So I'm going to play B flat in the staff. And I want it to be quiet too. That way, I have that model in my head that when I go back to what the actual notes are, D flat, E flat, F, I'm listening for that same articulation that I just mimicked. Okay. Now, a lot of these notes are going to go by pretty quickly, given that it's quarter note equals 104 to 120, and these are 16th notes. So, in order for them to sound and to speak, we need to really hear them, right? Um, if you hear it in your ear, you hear it in your head, you'll be able to produce it through the tuba much more easily. So I'm looking at the end of measure 10. Starting on uh, E natural in the middle of the staff, we have this kind of pseudo scale descending into the seven, eight bar. We need to hear those notes really clearly in order for them to sound quickly, right? <laughs> So in my head, 
I'm singing these notes very clearly. Yum, bum, ba, 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 right? That way, when I go to play, there's no ambiguity with where that note is, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and play measure nine. I'm going to play it a little slower, right? Nine, ten, and we'll go into the seven, eight. Um, and I'm going to play this as perfectly as I possibly can, but slow. Right? Now it sounds like all those notes are speaking pretty clearly. The only thing I have to work on now is just making it faster. That's really it. Um, the other thing that should be talked about is the dynamics in the piece. We start out forte, we go to piano at uh, measure 9, back up to forte at 10, down to pianissimo in 11. Uh, these are some very quick dynamic changes, um, and one way I like to practice that is eliminating really the, the fingers or the notes and just practicing one or two notes, um, but practicing the dynamics. So, for example, um, again, let's take beat three and four of measure 10, okay? Here, I'm just going to play an E at the top of the staff. The I'm going to play the rhythm, but I'm going to start forte and try to end pianissimo as best I can. Right? And see how far you can make that gap. See how forte your forte can be and see how soft your pianissimo can be. It should be really, really uh, contrasting, right? So when I do it that way, it's really noticeable. Um, and we need to make sure that when we add the notes and the fingers back in, it's the dynamic uh, change is exactly the way it just was. Something like that. Now the last thing is breathing. Um, there really isn't uh, any rest <laughs> in this entire etude. So you need to be very careful and very deliberate with where you breathe and how you breathe, okay? The breath should always be really relaxed and you shouldn't take in just huge quantities of air. It should be a relaxed, um, full breath, um, but it shouldn't be like you're trying to suck in a hot air balloon or something, right? So um, again, there's really not a lot of space to do it. So it needs to be quick, but it needs to be relaxed, right? So um, I'm gonna go ahead and start at the top and uh, we'll stop when I take a breath. For me, that's where my first breath is, in between, uh, it's on bar three, uh, in between beats one and two. Um, I think that's a good place to do it because you're not trying to sneak a breath in between a 16th note or something. That would be an appropriate place, right? But again, relaxed, full breath, and that way we can sustain the tone throughout the remainder of the etude. If you try to wait too long or if you breathe too soon, you may breathe too shallow or you may end up breathing, um, not getting enough air in. And we don't want those, either of those things, right? So let's go ahead and piece together our clean, clear articulations, our great dynamic range and our uh, good and relaxed breathing and um, this is how the final product, I think, should sound. Okay, we've gone through the etude, and I hope this has been helpful for you. Uh, we'll cover part two, the lyrical section, in the following video. But thanks so much for tuning in, and have a great Allstate audition.